Mike Elgin's on the phone with us. Hey, Mike. Hey, Leo. So uh, was there a demo of any of these products, or you were just unceremoniously cast out as we were? No, we got a demo. We got our hands on uh, with uh, all of the devices except the Chromecast devices. We saw all the, the phones and the tablet. And I got to say that the, the star of the show here today, as far as I'm concerned, is the Pixel C. That thing is awesome. Interesting. Mm -hmm. What particularly do you like about it? Well, uh, the coolest thing, I think, is that I, I really believe in the tablet plus a physical keyboard model. Of course, the, uh, the iPad Pro is following that model. This is their answer to the iPad Pro. One of the cool things about it is the use of magnets to attach the, the keyboard with the, to the tablet. And in fact, when you attach the keyboard to the bottom of the tablet when you're not using the, the keyboard, it charges the keyboard inductively. So you never have to think about charging the keyboard. Yeah. Very cool stuff. Yeah. And the screen sounds particularly nice. What do you think? Did you actually saw it? It looked, it, yes, and it looked beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I also, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult to really get a sense of uh, what it's going to be like every day using the screen, but it, just in the demo and the hands-on, it looked really good. The thing that I really like, you know, as a writer, somebody who spends all day typing, I love that keyboard. That keyboard is just like the Chromebook Pixel keyboard, which is a great keyboard. Uh, it felt really great to use. It didn't feel very small, even though it, it actually is smaller in person than it looked, uh, you know, when they were demo demonstrating it on a stage. So I think that this this Pixel C is a real winner, and it's going to be a, an object of of, uh, of desire for for everybody who likes Android tablets. Um, and so it was really interesting. I also talked to the the guy who was uh, running the demo. Don't recall his name, but he was talking about the mission of the Pixel team because I asked him, you know, why are you, it is an Android device? Why isn't this under the Nexus brand and so on? And he said that the Pix, you know, he said what we already know pretty much, which is that the Pixel team exists to lead the industry and have the sort of idealized products what Google thinks would be the highest end products. Truth is, I think it's the devices that Google uh, staff themselves want to use uh, and they, they build it for themselves and then sell it to the rest of us. Uh, but, that, but the Pixel C was very, very cool. A real opportunity right now for Google with the phones as well, because the world is moving toward this kind of pay it outright no longer subsidized phone model. The world has been there all along. The U.S. is finally moving uh, to that. You know you know what it costs. And they're offering what looks to be absolute flagship capabilities at considerably uh, lower prices. Did you get a chance to play with the 6P at all? Yeah, it just feels super premium. I mean, you know, it's a 499 phone. It starts at 499 and up from there, uh, depending on uh, storage. Uh, and uh, as you said, both unlocked. It just feels like a really high-end phone. This is clearly going to be viewed as a competitor to the iPhone 6 Plus and also the high-end Samsung phones. Um, just a really beautiful uh, device in every way. Felt great. The fingerprint uh, reader just felt really natural, to, you know, to unlock it super fast uh, in every way. So I think this is a, uh, I, you know, we, I, I've been concerned that Google had kind of lost its mojo a bit with the Nexus line. And I think this, uh, both these phones bring bring them back uh, into um, being real contenders uh, for the real fans of Android devices. Uh, it's just a it's just a really really great phone. It doesn't uh, really, really powerful. I think I think uh, Apple doesn't have much to fear, but Samsung's got to uh, just be terrified because uh, the, everybody the complaint about Samsung they make great hardware. The complaint is always the software. Finally, Google making competitive hardware. Uh, with a pure marshmallow experience. Pure marshmallow sounds delicious. Yeah, I, they really are. And, and one of the things that I don't, I don't know if you talked about this uh, during the, the, the stream, but it's clear to me that they really got a lot of ideas from their brief ownership of the, Motorola. Of Motorola. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, this is, you know, th this, this Android sensor hub sounds right out of the Motorola playbook where they yeah. offload um, sensor data from the central processor and this boosts the battery there's lots of stuff in in in, uh, in Marshmallow that boosts the battery, so I'm really excited to get some independent testing of what the battery life on these devices is going to be. I think it's going to be great uh, because of these uh, these features. And um, yeah, if I had to pick a single reason to use an iPhone, it's for battery life. Uh, but this yeah. with a thir 3450 milliamp hour battery in the uh, new 6P and all of these uh, battery saving features, uh, this could be a monster. I hope it is. Yeah. Yeah, and the other thing that has to be pointed out is that 
uh, Apple has been really stingy at giving, uh, you know, well, they, 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 they've prevented it uh, from giving third party app makers access to that fingerprint reader. Whereas Google is like, yeah, right. uh, open for business. Uh, just, right. you know, build, build, build it right in. In fact, almost everything that they announced, they said, yeah, this, is ava- this stuff is available to third party app developers. Sounds like a, a, they're using that as a real competitive uh, a differentiation.